Your syndrome wears a lot of hats and has a lot of different ways it shows up. And for us as small business owners, as mental health professionals, as therapists, as people, it really makes sense why this is happening. So one, imposter syndrome for BIPOC people, colonialism and racism all the way, right? Like I obviously don't experience that as someone with a lot of privilege, but if you've been told for generations, you don't belong here, you're not as good at, etc. I mean, I don't think that's a reflection of you, but it's been deeply conditioned and it's been portrayed throughout society for as long as we can remember. But other ways that it shows up, insecurity, feeling fraudulent, not as good as, paralyzing perfectionism, I just lucked into my success, I don't have as much expertise as so-and-so, I don't have as much training, I doubt everything I do, I, I struggle to even put my ideas out to the world. And there are lots of ways to work through this. So I'm going to make a series of videos talking about imposter syndrome tips, and I hope that you're able to work through that and then use my motto, doubt yourself, do 